welcome back everyone. Hollywood Live, I'm your host Jack Canfield and my next guest Cheryl Ivaniski. She's a wonderful doctor. She is a holistic practitioner. She's a best-selling author. She's dedicated to health and wellness and uh, we're going to talk about all of that. She's written a number of books, co-authored with some of the coolest people I know, myself, Brian Tracy, Les Brown, Dr. John Gray, Raymond Aaron, and the World Organization of Natural Medicine. You hang out with really good people. Um, so let's, let's talk a little bit about, uh, just answer first, like a little more about who you are and the work you do, what your company's about, and we'll go from there. Sure. Well, I'm a successful wellness and business entrepreneur. I'm very happy to say I'm a best-selling author and Quilly Award winner, so Thank that's you. great, and a uh, speaker uh, nationwide, and uh, also a health authority wellness advocate, which I'm totally passionate about. That's really what my life is about. I stand for everyone living a, a wellness-based life. And I'm the founder of the Lifestyle Wellness Center. And what does the Lifestyle Wellness Center do? The Lifestyle Wellness Center gives resources and training. We're a resource center that gives people empowerment and inspiration so that they can become their best advocate. You know, we're about really taking 100% responsibility mm -hmm. for our health and well-being. And that's really giving people back the power for themselves. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Now, you weren't always that. So what was that defining moment or that event in your life that occurred that said, okay, I'm going to go in this new direction and do this work that I'm not doing? Well, I started off in my 20s as a licensed health professional. Okay. So I was contracted with the public health department. So I was out advocating wellness in my young 20s. And in my mid-20s, I was designing uh, curriculums and uh, programs, coaching programs for doctors and their teams. So they were advancing their clients into new levels of wellness. I will tell you this. I went from a, a background in training in traditional medicine to a life experience that changed everything for me. And what was that? Um, on the go, go, go that I was, I was in a comatose state. And I guess I, it shouldn't have surprised me that much because I have a family history of diabetes oh, okay. in my family. So I watched my grandmother go through the struggles of, and the complications of diabetes and it taking her life. With me, I had a different type of diabetes and that's type one diabetes and that's where the organ stops, that goes bankrupt. There's no warning sometimes. Wow. So in my case, I uh, lost the uh, use of not just my pancreas but my thyroid. So I had a double whammy that, uh, it, was a, it was a toughie. It was definitely life altering. And coming out of that, that experience, then what? Well then, I uh, was grateful, and I am grateful for traditional medicine. It saves my life. I wear a medical device that keeps me alive every day. And then there's your quality of life. And so although traditional medicine keeps me alive, what, what does it do for my prevention and, and my in enrichment in life. Mm -hmm. And so then I really started studying. I called many authors of books who had written books. And what I did was I decided that, you know what, I am not going to become a statistic or a victim. And that's when I went back to school and mm -hmm. studied uh, holistic medicine. And that's my passion because, you know, 400 million people in the world have diabetes or prediabetes. 400 million, wow. 400 million. And it, uh, our health care you know, is about crisis management, not so much about prevention. And I think there's a need, there's something missing. So I think what's missing is the prevention and the proactivity. And rather than myself and people struggling, wouldn't it be great if, if, if you know, there are resources. So now I'm able to provide the, the resources, the chips and tool, and coaching programs that are able to give energy, life, and prevent uh, repair and even reverse uh, some of the complications of diabetes. That's great. When you look at the whole wellness field right now, what do you see? What's the state of the wellness industry, if you will? <laughs> well, you know, there's Canada and the United States and the, and, the, and the rest of the world. So right now... And you're from Canada, just so our viewers know. Uh, yeah, and right. I'm from Canada and uh, spend much time in the U.S. And what I notice is, uh, although we have two different medical systems, the thing that we have in common is that it's all crises. And so there's dealing with something only after it happens. So, you know, there's not stages, there's not the integrative portion, there's not the let's try this before this. So what, what's missing is billions of dollars every year in our emergency departments. 
And this is the one thing that we can do so much about. We have the most control over, mm -hmm. you know? So I think it's more about, uh, rather than having a crisis management and people suffering, struggling, and costing our, our country's money, let's take responsibility and let's be our own wellness advocates. Now, you've been phenomenally successful with this work. What do you, what do you credit that to? What, do you, what, what is your secret, if you will? You know, I think it's something I think something that everyone needs to do is, you know, be passionate about what you're doing. Like, you have to be all in. Mm -hmm. So it's not one of those things that's like, I think I'll do this. No, like you're all in and, and you do whatever it takes because that is what you live and breathe. So I think being passionate, in my case, I'm, I'm grateful because I have a team of 12 to 15 professionals mm -hmm. that, are, that are proactive in life. They're, they're on my team, they're great. I have researchers, uh, analysts, and uh, other doctors, so it's great. So having a great team, and my years of experience, I really think that I've survived. And I think, you know, being raised in a family where, where health, health conscious people uh, with organic farming and you know the Niagara County because you've been there I know you've been mm -hmm. out in Niagara so yeah. you know it's all organic orchards and farms and you know quality so I think with my experience the training and coaching professionals and having yeah. a background in traditional and preventive medicine I think that's pretty well rounded very good you know sure one question I always like to ask people because the people they come to the show expecting me to ask it because they're looking for wisdom. Okay. Is you're sitting here now, if yeah. you're looking back at the younger you when you were starting out, what advice would you give that younger person? I would say to that younger person, you have really great resources around you. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think, I think the process of life is when you're connecting with people. And what I'm learning as I'm getting younger, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm learning as I'm getting younger is is life happens in the process of, it doesn't happen when we're alone. So growth and expansion happens when we're collaborating mm -hmm. and we're, when we're helping and we're serving one another. So I would say, you know, don't isolate yourself and really be proactive and really meet so many people because there's such a rich experience that allows you to grow yourself too. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. I agree with you. So if someone wanted to reach you about the books you've written, uh, the work you do, mm -hmm. uh, your, your group, where do they go? How do they find out more? They come to the lifestylewellnesscenter.com and the Lifestyle Wellness Center is C E N T R E. Because of the Canadian thing. Because of the Canadian right. thing. Dot com. And uh, also the Diabetes Wellness Center dot com. And yeah, you know, we would love to be able to uh, help everyone with their health needs, but especially people that are really ready to have the change in their life. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for being committed to people being well and happy and healthy. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. All right. So stick around, everybody. We'll be right back after this message.